Hi, I'm Faith Animal Gal. Today we're going to learn shading for beginners. This is the second video in a three-part series that teaches you how to use the Me Academy, Clever Dragons, and Always Ice Cream Design Studios. In my first video, I taught you guys how to draw a pink shirt with an ice cream cone on it. Today we'll be using that same design, but we'll be adding shading to it. If you already made a draft of the basic ice cream shirt, click on your draft and we can get started on this next part. If you didn't save this design as a draft and instead saved it to your shop, that's okay. Just draw the ice cream cone again and then I can teach you what to do next. For this basic shading tutorial, we'll just be using a slightly darker shade of the main color to draw the shading. Artists use shading to define where the light and shadows are on an object. It can help to add dimension to your artwork and help it look more realistic. If you think you'll have trouble figuring out where to draw the shading on this shirt, look at a few photos of yourself. Notice how the material on your clothing bends and folds, and notice where the shadows are. You can also just see how I do it and imitate my shading. Though the shadows and folds in a shirt will always be different, so you don't need to do exactly what I'm doing. The shading I'm doing is of a girl's physique, so for any boys watching this, you can easily do the shading to reflect your masculine physique. You may also want to make your version of this shirt in a different color. That will work just great. Boys like ice cream too, after all. For the shading, I'm just using a darker shade of the original color of the shirt. The color I chose for this is known on the gradient panel as 229-44129. Now I'm tapering the edges of all the pleats of the fabric. This will make the shading neater, crisper, and a little more realistic. The way we're doing the shading today is more cartoon-like, but I'm also going for a bit more realism. I've tapered the pleats of the fabric by having each line gradually getting narrower until it gets to be a pointed tip. Fun facts. Impressionism is the art style of using loose brush strokes, sketchy lines, and blotches of color that all come together to make a full image. It will look more blurred out and out of focus. Realism is painting or drawing something to be realistic and exact, like a photo. Both art styles are equally great, so just pick which one you feel like doing. If you want it to look more impressionistic, you can skip this step. Now I'm just adding a bit more shading. The first time I drew this fold, I didn't like it, so I just clicked on the undo button and tried again. By the way, in my last video, I called the undo button the redo button. Sorry about that. I attempted to draw shading on the ice cream cone too, but I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did when using this opacity of paint. I still like how it turned out though. Fun fact, opacity means something lacking of transparency or translucence, or in other words, it means dense and not see-through. I will teach you how to change the opacity to make the shading even more realistic in the third video of this series. Oh wait, I almost forgot. Now add a bit of shine to the cherry. I'm doing this by using the color white from the color palette on the right side of the screen, and then drawing a small white line on top of the cherry. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial! Thanks for watching!